Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. I'm bringing you a new tutorial on how to install and configure HA dashboard. It is a great front end and it works really well with touch screens and stuff to use as like a touch pad in your house for controlling and everything. So uh, I really like the new setup with version 2 and everything and think it works really well with App Daemon. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this started. As always, you know, I like to start off my tutorials with doing updates just to make sure my machine is currently up to date with everything. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fast forward through that. Now that updates are finished, uh, let's go ahead and do our install. So it's going to be a sudo pip3 install app daemon. And again, I'll put this in the description so you can copy and paste it along with whatever other uh, commands I run throughout this tutorial. All right, so that's finished. All right, so we need to create a directory. Uh, we're going to do that inside our Home Assistant directory, and we'll call it conf, C-O-N-F. Uh, let's go ahead and move into that directory. And from here, we're going to create our configuration file. So it's sudo vi appdaemon.yaml. So there's a couple of different requirements you have to have for this. So uh, let's see, we'll do uh, has colon. And then we're going to do the URL, and this will be for our Home Assistant box. So uh, if, you, uh, <clears throat> if you do it by IP address, you can put the IP and the port number. If you do it by um, you know DNS entry, go ahead and put the domain name and everything. And it'll be HTTP or HTTPS, however you run it. Uh, HA key will be your API key that you use for your configuration if you use one. If you don't, you can delete that out of there. The next setup will be app daemon. And these are kind of just standard uh, log file. I'm just setting it to standard out and uh, error file to standard error. Uh, the number of threads, um, I'm going to set it to 10. Now the HA dashboard section, we're going to have a dash URL. This will be how you access your new uh, HA dashboard. Um, so the default port I think is 5050 and so we're just going to go with that. We'll just say HTTP, we're going to put the IP address of our server that we're currently on and uh, colon 5050 for the port number. So we got that created. Now we need to have a empty apps.yaml file for this so we're just going to do a sudo touch apps.yaml just so that file is in there. And unfortunately, with the current the current install, we need to create a few other empty folders as well. So we're going to do a sudo make uh, make directory uh, compiled, <clears throat> and then inside that directory, we need to create two more empty directories. One of them will be CSS, and the other one will be JavaScript. I'm not sure why those aren't created during the install, but if you don't create those when you try to run the app daemon, it will not. Uh, you know it won't work so here we're going to go ahead and just run it and point it to our newly created configuration file just to make sure that it's running okay and <clears throat> that's what you want to see Let's get the version that started uh, tells you what uh, configuration file it's reading and then you can see here it's connected to home assistant so everything's good with that so now let's go ahead and uh, set it up to automatically uh, start as a service so we're gonna do a, a sudo vi etsy systemd system
app daemon uh, dot service. Again, you can call it whatever you want. That's just what I'm calling this one. And again, I'll put all this in the uh, in the description so you can copy and paste it. So for the description, you know, give it whatever you want. I'm just going to say app daemon service for home assistant. Now, the great thing about this install, of course, is now that you've got app daemon installed, you'll be able to use this for other, you know, app daemon apps that you want to run. You don't have to just use it for HA dashboard. Uh, that's just what we're doing for this tutorial. We're going to point it at uh, <coughs> where app daemon is installed, which is in user local bin. You can always do a where is just to verify that to make sure. And then we're going to, of course, point at our configuration file. Let's see, install. That's really it. We'll save that. Let's do a reload. So, uh, sudo system ctl daemon reload. Now we should be able to start the service. At daemon. type here there we go yeah let's do a status just to make sure everything looks okay and it's uh, running and of course you can kind of see the same as we saw before it's using that config file we created and it's connected to home assistant everything looks good all right, so at this point, let's go ahead and create our first dashboard. So we're going to move over to our config directory we created earlier uh, inside Home Assistant. We're going to create a new directory called Dashboards. Now inside this Dashboards directory, let's just create one called main.dash. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, this is just for the tutorial. So give it a title, dimensions for our widget. So we'll say widget underscore dimensions, and I'm just going to set it to 170 by 180. And some of these, so you're just going to have to play around with it. Um, the more you mess with HA dashboard and, and the sizes and configurations and stuff, um, you know, the more you'll get used to how everything's set up. That's the widget margins. We set 15 by 15. And columns, we'll just do 11. Um, all right, I'm not going to go into deep details on this configuration. I just wanted to get it installed and show you how it was, uh, how it worked. I'll do another tutorial down the road, maybe with some themes and skins and stuff to see how all that works. So we got a clock, and by default, we'll just do widget type as clock. The nice thing about the clock and the weather is they don't really require much um, other than just to say the widget type. But for me, of course, for the weather, I want Fahrenheit. Then I'm just going to create a reload button to go towards the bottom of my touchpad. Reload. Now the last part is the most important, that is the layout. This is kind of where you decide where the buttons are going to go and how big they're going to be. So we'll say the clock. We're going to say uh, 4 by 2 and the weather let's go three by three 
Let's move down a few uh, lines on the layout here, and then we'll add in the uh, reload button. We'll just make it one by one. All right, I think we got our base dashboard pretty much set up. Let's go ahead and save that. Now let's move over to our uh, our browser and take a look at this new dashboard. And bam, there it is. Nothing fancy, just uh, you know, that's what it looks like. Got a weather, a clock, and a reload button down there in the bottom corner. That's how you basically set up HA Dashboard, at least the basic setting of setting it up. Again, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to try to put together a, a skinning tutorial, which would show you some different skins and probably add some more features into the... Uh, the HA dashboard. I really just wanted to use this video to kind of show you how to at least get it installed so you can start playing around with it yourself and getting your uh, devices and stuff configured in there. Um, if there's any videos that you want to see that I don't already have on my channel, I mean, please uh, let me know. Uh, I'll try to put something together for you. Like I said in some of the other videos, I've got a couple in the queue that people have already asked about and I am currently working on those. Uh, so again, stay tuned. So you can check those out as well. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks. Bye.